G'day lads, how are we? I don't know what's going on with me lately. I've been playing a bit of Fortnite. Everything's changed. There's more bots than an 11 man pro clubs team. I really think my channel should be Madman Fortnite now. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Hold on, I think someone's trying to break in. Oh my gosh, Penaldo, what are you doing here? You wanna join my pro clubs team? Because you're a free agent? I I'm sorry, Pen Penaldo, please stop crying. Ronaldo, we can talk about it. Come on, Ronaldo, please. All right, enough rubbish. Ronaldo's goaded with Messi. But let's get into episode seven of the three minute tip series, which is how to save 1v1s. Start the timer. Let's go. I mean, the first point that I want to mention is that a 1v1 can be from any position. It's not just a linear situation where the guy's directly in front of you and your defense is nowhere to be seen. That definitely can happen, especially with my defense. But a 1v1 can definitely be from an angle, like on the right side or the left side. It can be just recognizing that your defense has a large gap in it and that the opposition player is going to run through there. It can also just be from a chip ball or a through ball played, and that can happen at any time. So my number one tip would just be to stay alert for 1v1s. Tip number two would be to never use your left stick to actually come out. You always, always have to rely on your triangle or your Y. It's the real way to lock onto the ball and at the end of the day you're doing the right thing. Another really important tip is to recognize that your defense isn't going to catch them or that there isn't a sweaty that's on. Because if either one of those things is going to happen it's probably best to just stay in your box and read the opponent's shot. But if instead they're clear through it's 100% going to be a 1v1 then here's what you gotta do. Number one, your positioning has to be really good and that means stepping a little bit ahead of your auto position with your left stick. Number two, you have to start rushing out when he's just about to enter your box. That is the best time to do it because they won't expect that you're going to come out and they're not going to be able to register their shot in time. And number three, one of the most important points of this whole video is that you have to start holding your triangle or your Y just before he takes that touch. So you recognize he's running away from your defense, he's sprinting his little ass cheeks off. He's more focused on getting clear through than he is of you. So whilst he's sprinting and just before he's going to take that heavy touch, you're already off of your auto position and you start holding your triangle or your Y and then he takes that heavy touch and then he has no chance of getting the ball back because you're already there. Truthfully, it's just doing these small little things that will give you an advantage. I want to get to the opponent's ball just before they can. And if you do these things that we've talked about, well, you're going to. Back yourself, be ready, always be prepared to rush out and close the angle, that's very important. And yeah, you'll do well. But that's it for this episode. Let me know how you go in 1v1s or any problems that you have. I know it can be a tough nut to crack sometimes, but hey, it's a GK union. Stay safe, take care, bye.